all right my people welcome back on to this one mm, still on the matter yoruba nation are going back exactly what it is and exactly what the people are talking about yes my brother my sister this is another strong one reaching us hmm right now mrs modupe onitiri and co are in big trouble in fact they are wanted hmm you know we have been talking about the fact that as far as yoruba nation movement is concerned mrs modupe onitiri is not part of yoruba nation movement there is trouble right now in the land no we have talked about the fact that she was actually you no know, looking for a way to distract the yoruba nation movement and an, a way to cause commotion so that yoruba nation agitators can be called terrorists and uh, right now you no know, the yoruba nation agitators are so wise that they have you no know, disclaimed this woman that she is not part of yoruba nation our plan is to disrupt the movement our plan is to tag the real yoruba nation people as terrorists right now she will never succeed with this one she had done it in the past of the political era that made a lot of people in the first place to vote fine that one had happened but this time around she is still looking for a way to tarnish in fact to stop the movement finally and the god is bigger than her right now she had been exposed muduk bonitiri finally has been exposed all the people she sent to disrupt yoruba nation movement have been arrested yes yeah, so in fact finally mrs muduk bonitiri is wanted because the true yoruba people the yoruba nation agitators are now out to make it clear to the government, to the federal government, that the people who actually came out to attack the radio station in Ibadan are not Yoruba Nation movement. In case you don't know right now, and exactly what it is, Chief Sunday Igboho does not know about the Omi Inira of Dukpe Onitiri. Professor Akitoye is not part of Omi Inira Dukpe Onitiri. It had been disclaimed. <clears throat> Mrs. Moduk Bonitiri has been disclaimed. A disclaimer notice had been given that she is not part of Yoruba Nation movement. She is on her own. And then her plan is to disrupt the Yoruba Nation movement. And then of which the good Lord has caught up with her. Now she sent her boys out to go about you know, propagating that Yoruba Nation uh, has been actualized of which we already know that our plans is to tag the yoruba nation agitator terrorist group so that the yoruba nation will not be able to go about their you no know, freedom fighting yes and then right now a lot of people have actually reacted and they, their names have been called out the leader of this group that is wanted they are called the omi nera group aided by Dukpe Onitiri, supported by Shoye Koribe, Ijinle Marcos, Jimmy Boy, a lot of them like that. They are the ones that are against the real Yoruba nation agitators. Right now, she sent her boys. These boys, we don't even know them. We don't know where they came from. According to the news reaching us, it had been gathered that they were paid. 50,000 era each. There are about five of them. Hmm. They were paid 50,000 era each to work for Dukpe Onitiri in order to you know, tarnish the image of the you know, free Yoruba nation agitator. Right now, there's been a disclaimer before now that this woman is not part of Yoruba nation. She is on her own. So right now, she is not even in the country. That's where the problem is. So they have to look for her. They have to look for all of them. Majority of them that are leading this group, they are not even in Nigeria. All right. So and then with the news reaching us here, it has been gathered that a day before Tinumbu's inauguration, Yoruba nation agitators reportedly hijacked radio station of which in case you don't know that's why we are here to make it known to the whole world wherever you are right now you need to share this video you need to share this that as far as this yoruba nation movement is concerned though 
Mrs. Moduko Nitiri, who actually sent these people, is not part of Yoruba Nation movement, but she is just looking for a way to tarnish the image of the Yoruba Nation movement in whichever way they are trying to tarnish the image. All those people that were arrested have to let us understand who actually sent them. But with what we have gathered, with the information reaching us, Mrs. Muduk Bonitiri has said it severally that they are going to hijack, they are going to occupy. Right now, with the news reaching us, said the police arrested the, the boys. They were actually calling them Yoruba Nation suspect. But in case you don't know, that's why we are here to make it known to all. This set of people are Omi Inera group, organized, founded by Dukpe Onitiri and a subordinate, Shoye Koribe, Ijinle Marcos, Ijinle Marcos, Jimmy Boy, and the rest of them. Yes, yeah, so Professor Banji Akintoye, and the Chief Sunday Igboho are not part of this group. They are not aware of the boys that were sent out. Well, according to the full details, it says, a day before the inauguration of Nigeria's new president, Bola Tinumbu, separatists hijacked a federal station in Ibadan, or your state, the news agency of Nigeria. NAN reports the five separatists agitating for an independent yoruba nation hijacked amuludun fm station in the oyo state capital the police told nan all right i think this is what we have to you know continue to disclaim this yes point of correction this set of people are not from they are not working for the yoruba nation movement but they are working for omi nira of dukpe onitiri we have said this time to that number okay let me continue with what they have talked about they said the police arrested the suspect and they said they found charms on them although they did not hurt any staff of the radio station hmm on meanwhile the yoruba nation agitators are believed to be a minority according to what is written here that they are believed to be a minority in the southwest nigeria where mr tinumbu is from okay on to this one it has been gathered that the president-elect is not known to have any relationship with the group and then has repeatedly pledged to contribute to the growth and the indivisibility of nigeria all right and then with what is gathered it said the police command in Oyo state has arrested five of the yoruba people that they were claiming to be yoruba nation agitators but with what we are saying right now this set of people are not part of yoruba nation agitator they are not fighting for the agitation actualization of yoruba nation but they are fighting for mrs mudukbo niti reassociation i don't know what they actually want so we need to make this known right now a lot of people have actually reacted because i, I don't think i can even talk more on this one well let me just talk t tell you a little bit about how they actually you know operated well according to this um mrs mudukbo nitiri group called omi nira group they said the news agency of nigeria now reports that these people from mrs mudukbo nitiri stormed the federal radio station around 6 a.m on Sunday, seized the GSM phones of workers and they went on air proclaiming the establishment of a Yoruba nation and secession from Nigeria. You can imagine, hmm. my brother, my sister, this is no longer a joke. Mrs. Muduk Bonitiri has not done it to that level. A lot of people are now saying, now this woman should be looked for. There is no longer a joke. We don't even need to pamper her anymore. Wherever she is, she should, she must be fished out. And uh, she must, uh, she has to confess the set of people who actually sent her. Hmm. Well, a lot of, you no, know, there have been a lot of reactions onto this one. Because right now, it is not funny at all. We need to know Dukpe Onitiri's hiding place and then deal with her. That's exactly what the people are actually talking about. The real Yoruba Nation agitators are now saying they need to know her hiding place. After she deceived the people that they should go and occupy, the next thing, she absconded.
she's nowhere to be found and i don't understand who are these set of people i think we have said this times without number when we're saying that this woman is not real a lot of people will say oh pilado what people say they don't pay you abby they have paid you you are doing the work of your master very well why would you be going against now we have all seen it with everything that is actually happening right right now does anything like this make sense does it make sense now mrs mudupo nitiri is in a big trouble because a lot of people who she had deceived have now woken up apart from her subordinates that maybe i don't know the people who have paid them to do all these things shoya koribe is in big trouble right now ijile marcos is in big trouble right now this uh, what is his name black goat is in big trouble right now jimmy boy in a big mess mrs modupo Niti, all these set of people are now wanted according to what the Euro real yoruba nation agitators are talking about they have made it clear chief sunday Bowo does not know anything about this movement but the movement had been added by Dupe Onitiri, who is not even in Nigeria. And right now, she is nowhere to be found. She knows what she's doing. And then her um, secret had been exposed. All she's after is to, you know, to put out some set of people to tag, so that they can tag the Yoruba Nation movement, a terrorist group. Well, the people have come out to make it clear. We don't know her. She's not part of our group she's not registered with us she is on her own all right and then my brother my sister i think a lot of things do are actually going on right now meanwhile a lot of people have made it clear that hmm mrs modupo nitiri must be dealt with she has to be dealt with nobody sent her on this one yes once again i repeat professor banji akintoye chief sunday igboho do not know about this mrs modupo nitiri sent a voice to tarnish the image of the yoruba nation movement we only know one yoruba nation movement which is headed by chief sunday Igboho and the professor banji akintoye as far as modupo onitiri is concerned she is not part of this movement and then she is wanted she is a scammer well my brother my sister this is so strong and uh, meanwhile let me have your own take on this one and uh, remember to subscribe for more updates while we bring more updates to you on to this one all right thanks and god bless